I'll tell you what, it's getting a bit windy. Storms are coming, just like Terminator. Just have a look in that shower. <laughs> Hey up, it's Theme Park Bazaar and... This is Bazaar. Welcome, we've just thrown, what, three hours? Yep. From Orlando International Airport. We are in the um, second largest airport in the world by land mass, the third busiest airport in North America and the ninth busiest airport in the world. Yep. And where are we at, Max? We're in... Yes, we're in Dallas. Well, why are we in Dallas? Well, there is a story behind that. Um, we are here because um, we normally come on a holiday break, don't we, in April? Mm -hmm. And last um, November, December, when we were booking and looking, we were going to go abroad for another trip, weren't we? A we bit were. of an expensive trip. Yes. But you know what's going on with the pool, don't you? Yes. So we decided that really wasn't viable and we were looking at cheaper options. So we've just landed in. And we've got a few things to show you. We're here for like a week or so, mm -hmm. just over a week. And we've got a few things we're going to be doing over the next few days. Um, different things we're going to do in the next few days are on a budget. So we just came here on American Airlines and one of the reasons we picked... When I went to um, Barcelona last year, yep. work flew me on American Airlines, not my choice. No. You know our feeling of American. Yes, you do. This time last year we were going to Japan with them. Uh, but I got a lot of points for it. And so when I was doing a radius, how far can I fly on these points? The furthest part. The furthest part that also had some things we could go do where we already had, didn't have to cost us anything. Yeah. Or, or little. Very little. Very little. Very little. So we just arrived here. We are going to head out and oh. now pick a car up, which I'm paying full price for. That's the only thing is the full price on the car because um, I'm going to use the same company that we use when we go to England. Mm. We do have two trips already paid for for England this year that we did, we'll talk about later on, on the points, on all the Delta points and everything. But um, the cars we have to pay for, but mm -hmm. we'll get points from this mm -hmm. that will help us with that. That's gone. I'm in Texas, so I'm expecting it to be like, um, like what, a pickup truck. <laughs> yeah, something big, because Texas is famous for its uh, gas. Well, not actually, tell us where, in Texas, where are we, Max? Now, like most air of these big airports, the rental places are off-site, mm -hmm. aren't they? I think yeah. we're going to have to, I did some research we online. Shuttle, think, we'll have to get we? in a shuttle and head about 10 minutes away to go and pick a car. We got, we're booking, we got that through Enterprise. But like I said, it's the same company I'm using for England. The hotel we're going to take you to now, um, I got on the points, on the Hilton points. So we're trying to keep everything on a budget to still have a good time. And then we'll tell you later in the vlog um, where we're going to go tomorrow, the first event, and then we'll take you there in this yeah. vlog. So come on, let's get our um, stuff together and let's head off and find the rental car. Tell you something else, Max. What? I've got my backpack with me. Yeah. Didn't leave it on the plane this time. I'm learning. I'm learning. Just keeping an eye on me. So it looks like we're going to come down here. It's a bit of an old terminal, isn't it? It is an old terminal. Yeah. So let's. Uh, we should be able to get here on the um, on the rental car buses and head to the rental car centre. Well, the good thing I should have said is there's a weather warning here today, isn't there? We actually were trying to. They're trying to give us some money to book another flight. Yep. And they have warned us that um, there was tornado chances Tornadoes. and th hail Quite and thunderstorms thing. coming. Yeah. Quite high. Chance. So. Um, we are trying to get over to the bus and get in the car. We're going to have an hour to drive from here to the hotel to before all the bad weather hits, but no, nothing so far. Right, so we got on the um, shuttle, didn't we? We did. Which was um, very packed. Uh, we didn't film on there because there was just like loads of people around. It took us a good 10, 15 minutes, oh, to, uh, 15 minutes. to get here. And then they dropped off at this Mahoufus. I've never seen one so big. So big, centre. We're with National. 
So they said, come down to the Emerald Isle, which this is the Emerald Isle. And that's the Emerald Isle. And that's the Emerald Isle, and pick any car you want. And we have got ourselves, we decided on a Toyota, what is it, RAV4? I don't know what it is. So just going to record everything and check there's no dings and bangs. So if, you're high, if, you, if you sign up for these clubs, they'll usually let you um, kind of um, just grab anything on the aisle. Um, but like I say, good, allow yourself a good 10 minutes to get here, 15 minutes oh, even, easy. from the airport. And like I say, they crammed us in like sardines. But we like Toyotas, I think we had one in England the last time. So what we need to do here is um, get in this car, and then I need to go to the exit over there and give them my driving license and my um, credit card, and they'll set us up. I also want to see if this has got sat-nav in here to see if we can get the sat-nav going um, on here. Where are the keys? Are there any keys in it? That's Don't see any keys. We might have been going in this one then, then Max. <laughs> right, let's get everything out again. Because... <laughs> not a great start. Not a great start. Let's go and find a... Go find another car. Might just, oh, he's going to hit the truck before he hits you. Yeah, so. we're going to try this Mazda instead. Because the uh, other guy was not working. And you saw if you're going to get wet. Just been washed, is it? Yeah. Should we check there's some keys in it first? Yeah, let's just check we've got keys. You can check the keys while I um, give it a quick... Look round. You could have had a truck, Max. Pickup truck. You're in Texas. Texas. Hey, they're over there. Any keys? Yeah, there's keys in the right. other side. It's good. I'll have to go and get him. So as always, it's a joy getting a rental car. So take two. Uh, one thing as well, I did remember to bring our transponder this time for going through all the tolls. So I've got that up there. What we have to do is then go into e-paths and put the number plate of the car onto that transponder so that it works for us. Right, so I have the transponder in. I've put it in for this registration number, this car description of it. So that now should work. And we have the sat nav on here. So I just need to go to the exit and give them my credit card and driving license and we should be good to go. And the credit card I'm going to put this on is the same credit card that we're going to use for the hotels. Um, rental cars I'll get points for and I'm also going to use the credit card to get points for those hotels that we're going to stay in in England at the airport before we, uh, before we head back. So um, that's the plan. I should get me sunglasses as well. That's the other thing, Max. Yeah. Because it just might be a little bit bright. Made it kicking off into it's all fire engines kicking going off. through but it's now four o'clock we've made it here um i did an electronic check-in so the room key should be ready for us another uh, savings tip is we've picked hotels that give us free breakfast and free parking haven't we yeah. they were two deals because they can cost you a lot of money when you're traveling around so let's go and check in to the fairfield inn and suites, and suites in plano texas i'll tell you what it's getting a bit windy storms are coming just like terminator there's a storm of brewing and it's supposed to get you about 7 o'clock we're going to be going out tonight, trying to get something to eat before then. Let's go and check in though. Right, 
we're here, cozy and snug in our Fairfield Inn and Suites, overlooking the car park, it's quiet. I think some restaurant, oh look, Bavarian Grill is right there, Max. Is it? Yeah, the Bavarian Grill is somewhere we saw. It's just there, it's just walking distance if there's a storm. Yeah. It's supposed to be a, it's supposed to be a fun, if you want German as well. The other trick is when we're looking for these places, we always try and find somewhere that's walking distance because we like a little beverage and some food, don't we? So we're just trying to uh, pick places that are close to where we're going to go and walking distance as well. And we'll have a quick look in here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yep. Well, I'm actually going to be critiquing the door now. Oh, look, they've got like a stop on that one. So it won't go in and out. You know, oh, yeah. Only goes to a certain point. It's like a plastic stopper thing. Yeah, that house is not designed to do that. You don't, because it's just on the glass. Yeah, Well, so is this. If you took that off, it would swing in and swing out. Yeah, because they put those bottle things in there. And we put the thing away from it as well, so you don't get wet. Mm -hmm. Morning. We taught these people a few things, didn't we, Max? <laughs> yeah, eh? So we made it. It's now... Well, we've lost an hour, because we're now on Central Time. So it's been about six hours since we left mm -hmm. to get here. You find that wherever you go, anywhere in America, it's like six hours to get somewhere, isn't it? Um, so what are you looking forward to this week most? Well, see that. Well, oh yeah, we haven't told them that yet, have we? No. So, um, what was one of the other reasons that we came to Dallas? Mm -hmm. And we've been teasing it all the way along in this vlog with those little trailers, because mm -hmm. what was it for, Max? Going to see South Fork. Yeah, when Nick and Lee came here um, last year, or the year before, they went to see South Fork, which if a lot of you kids out there don't know, is there was a TV series called Dallas. Oh, I said it again, I won't say it anymore now. <laughs> <laughs> that was filmed here, and... Um, um, the TV series, the actual ranch that was on the series, is actually about 20 minutes from here in Plano, Tex Texas, which might explain why we're here in Plano, Texas. Why are we here? Yeah, we are here to um, enjoy that tomorrow, and then we are driving down south to, um, in um, a future vlog, we're going to drive south to, uh, where is it? To San Antonio. San Antonio, that's it because there are some theme parks there that we'll take you to, but that's for another day. Today we are going to go and unpack, check out the area, go and suss out somewhere for a tea, we'll bring you along, and then um, you'll join us as we go and visit South Fork, the ranch where JR was shot. 45 years after I Oh, don't say that. To go. It makes us feel I've so old. I wanted to go for 45 years. Yep, so that was another reason for coming here um, as one of our trips. Right, so let's get unpacked and we'll come back to you in a few minutes. Right, we are leaving the Fairfield Inn. It's now 5.30. Um, we had a look around some places to go and eat, didn't we? We did. And where did you choose in the end, Max? Red Lobster. Because I've been for ages. Yeah, Red Lobster's a chain. I don't think it's that good, but... Um, it's you not know. usually great. Yeah, but it's a chain. we just got to get across this road because um, Red Lobster's just there. The Bavarian place is here. Uh, like I say, I, I, I put a map in here. You'll see all the different places. We've got EV charging as well. Yeah. How many spots have they got? Three. Three spots, yeah. And they have a pool around the back, but that's going to get a little bit cool. So we're going to try and get across this kind of busy road best we can. So our Red Lobster's pretty famous for, is it cheesy cheese biscuits we used to have? Cheddar cheese, cheddar baked biscuits. Cheddar baked biscuits, and we used to go to um, the one in Tampa. And it's all seafood, which Max seems like, it's a crab. They got a longhorn steakhouse. We won't have a steak when we're in Texas, but we want to go to like a proper steakhouse, not a, a chain you can go to in Orlando. And there's uh, Wah Burgers, is it there? Wanna Burger, yeah. And there's an In and Out Burger, I think. I can feel spits of thing coming. Can we see any in the car? Is it just my body? It's a spits of rain on there. Right, let's go in and get some food. Hopefully, it won't be too busy at this time in Red Lobster in the middle of nowhere. What's your daily deals on a Monday? $20 lobster and shrimp? It is a Monday, isn't it, today? I lose track of the days. Weekday lunch day or until 3, so you can't have those. You got a berry mango sangria, Max? No, I saw that. It's these as well. Deep sea, yeah. Yeah, there's your whole crab section. And you can do surf and turf, you can do. Uh, Main lobster, lobster shrink. Got flatbread lobster, flatbreads, lobster dip. Ten ways to enjoy lobster. Can't go wrong here, Max. 
So what have we got then, Max, to drink? What did you get? I got the lobster punch. Lobster punch? Yeah. And I got the triple berry sangria. And they still have the biscuits. The cheddar bait biscuit. Cheddar bait biscuits. You can get these. I think you can buy these somewhere as well, can't you? There's, there's a few times we have been in here where we've just drunk the alcohol and had the cheddar biscuits. We have, because that at the bar. Yeah, I've been very Not naughty. Not in this particular one. So how's your, um, you've got a big it's chunk of pineapple good. in there, haven't you? Let's try it's this good. thing. Mm, that's good. Mm. Things aren't too strong here, but they're um, good prices. <laughs> I like um, my, if I make stew at home, this yeah. is what I put on instead of dumplings. You've got like a cheddar... Cheese on well, cheese obviously being cheddar, aren't they? Grand back memories. Mm. We never used to stop over on our drive down to Orlando, we go into one of these, don't we? Yep. From Alpine. Yep. From, from Virginia, when, we, when we were in Virginia. Mm. Good. Is it swamp water? Is it good water? I don't know if I've tried the water. It's probably swamp. We're not in Florida anymore. No, no, we're not in Florida anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore. No. Enjoy, then we can fight over the last biscuit. So how old were you when that program we don't mention was on? You must have been pretty young. About ten, I think. You used to stay up and watch it, did you? Yeah, mum used to stay up and watch it. Did you? What did you like about it then? I don't know. Music. Scandal. <laughs> so, it's good. It was the only American TV series my dad would let me watch. And we, have to park, we have to pay for tickets for going to this, don't we? How much were the tickets? About $25 each. Book them from the website, don't you? Mm -hmm. And you get the tour inside and there. Uh... We only got the basic one, I think. Mean. Is there a more advanced one? I don't know. There was two. I can't remember what it was now because it's six months ago since we, <coughs> we uh, booked it. But you're looking forward to it. Hopefully the weather's going to be a bit crappy. The weather's going to be crappy, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I can't yeah, wait. I've yeah. been waiting 45 years for this. Yeah. From round two for biscuits, aren't we, Max? Mm -hmm. Brought us four this time, and uh, somehow this has evaporated. I don't know why. Oh, it's quick. Yeah, not very strong, but uh, very tasty. So I guess it's time for another biscuit. So I got the salmon bowl, which also has crispy Brussels sprouts, some um, uh, what do you call it? Some edamame. edamame. That looks nice. Yeah, it looks very nice. It smells really good, and um, some rice underneath. What do you get, Max? What do you think I got? Grab. Grab. What do you get? It's just, just crab your way with garlic and potatoes underneath and I got a side of cup. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Well mine is gone. How are you enjoying it Max? Mm. It's good. What are you just saying? <laughs> You're in heaven. I'm in heaven. Just love crab. Love it. My salmon was great. Do you like it as well? Yeah, it's really good. Those Brussels sprouts are really good. Do you think you've got enough garlic? Uh, yeah, let's have a look. Do yeah. you think you've got enough garlic? I think so. I think it's... um. We won't be kissing tonight, will we? Definitely not. Has Maxine Tackles gone and cracked the last one? If anybody who hates the crack, crack. Like I said, there's not a ton of meat, but it's nice what's there, isn't it? And it's a lot cheaper than most of the crab places show. So let's have a look what the damage is. So bear, bear in mind, I had two alcoholic drinks, you had one. Yeah. You had a crab meal. Yeah. And I just had fired the salmon. And the total comes to... Oh, yours is the more expensive, Max. Yeah. The total comes to eighty-five dollars for two of us. Your your um, my salmon was ten dollars cheaper than your crab, but I had two sangrias. Uh, offsets of, of them. So what do you think of the red lobster then? It was pretty good. It's a typical red lobster. Yeah, I mean the food was uh, average. Average service was average. It was pretty tasty. Yeah. yeah. Good value for money though, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, you pay at least $45 to $50 for crab at Joe's Crab Shop. Yeah, and that came, as you saw, that came to like 80 bucks, 40 bucks each, which I am proud to say mine was a 50 50 split between alcohol and food. <laughs> We're just trying to have more alcohol than food in it, but uh, I'm very proud of that moment. You had a, uh, your crab pushed us over that limit. We did bring back a couple of the crab cakes, crab cakes, crab a couple of biscuits. biscuits, cheddar biscuits. What's up, there? Might just have a walk around here to walk some of this off. So we've got a burger place, a couple of burger places down there. 24 hours, that burger place. What's the one with the lights on over there? I don't even know if we're very well done for that. Yeah, they've got benches across here, don't they? There's no, um, no cars, cars in. in. Oh, it tells you on there, open Tuesday to Saturday. Right. It's not open tonight. Yeah. Right, we're going to head back across 
to the uh, to the Fairfield. Probably have a chill night tonight. Uh, breakfast there is served from six till nine. Yes. So we're going to have to be up a little bit early tomorrow, aren't we? Yep. But our actual tour of South Fork is not until 12, is yep, it? Yeah, 12.15. So we're going to go and do some research and see what else we want to do, because we're back in this hotel again tomorrow night. And then, this is the thing about Texas, um, I had a look on the, you forget how, how um, big, it is. big it is. I had a look on the map from where we're driving next to San Antonio, and I thought, oh, it's about two hours. When I put it into Google, it's like five hours, because um, Texas is big. So we got that drive on the next day, and then we'll talk about that um, in the next vlog. But let's get back over there. I think he and Max are going to wrap it yeah. for tonight, for today. Thank you for this travel day. We're going to head over there, do some research for tomorrow. So join us tomorrow morning um, as uh, we have breakfast and head out to South Park. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's um, the morning after the storm the night before. Mm. Yeah, you saw the um, the storm come through, and today it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's about ten degrees cooler. It's ten degrees below normal here. Yeah, ten degrees below normal. We've actually packed our jeans today for the uh, for the one day that we'll need it because the rest of the week it's going to be in the eight, high eighties, isn't it? So um, high twenties that we needed it for today. So we are in the breakfast area. It is pretty much dead now because it's um, 10.30. We did come down about 7.30, 8 o'clock mm -hmm. for breakfast. Uh, you had a... Yeah. Oh, I had what did you have, Max? Tell them what you had. Tell them what you had. Had, well, you know me, I like, my, I like my breakfast. So I had sausage, scrambled eggs, and a waffle. Hello. Yeah, and an, an apple. apple. And an apple. And an apple. Yeah. Yeah, and an apple. And we took back a banana with us and we stole some muffins to have um, with our 11 o'clock. We didn't technically steal them. Yeah, okay, well, we, 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 we stored some muffins stored some and some bananas yeah. to have later in the day. There's a fridge in the room and a microwave in the room, so that's good. So we just come down for 11s before we head off to Maxine's bucket list location. It was so exciting. Yeah, it should be a good day today. Um, they still have coffee and tea on all day here in the hotel. The breakfast wasn't too bad, it was, was it? It was really good, actually, yeah. wasn't it? Really it was really, really good. good. So we are checked in at quarter past 12. We have to be there 15 minutes before? 15 minutes before. And it's about 20 minutes from here to get there. So we are going to just have um, 11s and catch up on some stuff before we go. We'll head on there, we'll bring you with us. Um, and then after that, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do for the rest of the day because sure. um, the weather's not really playing ball with us yeah. on a lot of things that we wanted to do. And it's uh, 20 mile an hour winds as well out there. So we are going to, uh, and I think a lot of the tour is outside, isn't it? I think so, yeah. I think it's an inside tour and an outside tour, but I think the only the outside scenes were used in the TV series, weren't they? Yes, I think so. Inside was shot in a film, in a film yeah. set, wasn't it? But there are, there are some like um, memorabilia things. Oh dear. Yes, there is some. The gun, I think, and the like, paintings that they had on well, the Well, the gun who shot JR? I think so. All right, okay. I think so. Yeah, so um, we're going to enjoy our muffins and come join us. We'll get packed up and we will head off to South Fork.
just checked in for the tour, didn't we, Max? We did. Um, it starts. We got, apparently there's a whole gift shop here, and then there's a museum we can go and look at before the uh, tour starts. Who's up there, Max? Do you anybody? Oh, Recognise anybody? Who shot JL Max? Look. <laughs> Is that the gun? The prop gun. A few folks don't know it was a big thing back in the 80s. Uh, he got shot and there was a big thing on the TV about who shot JL. It was a big cliffhanger at the end of the one of the series. It was a huge thing in England, wasn't it? Yep. And America. Let me see some of the original series here. Do you remember all these? Oh, yeah. Do you remember the timelines and he was in it? Yep. So Bobby Ewing, he um, died. Um, he got killed by a car accident and they wanted to leave the series, but the, uh, he wanted to come back after a year and the ratings tanked a little bit. So uh, they brought him back, waking him up in the shower and it was all lost. And this is the, this is a tagline from it. When, uh, well, that was from the new series, but here's yeah. the history of it over but here. That's where they were filming, that's by the pool. Yeah. With Go the cameras. The people you don't and where people behind cameras. That's the lunch where they're having lunch. lunch. Yeah. That's what's his name, Barnes, Cliff Barnes? Yeah. You know yeah. Uh, there's another shot from it. And they're filming from around the pool. <laughs> Do not feed fingers to horses. There it is, right? Yeah. It's tiny. <laughs> teenagers and they moved in they started a registered quarter horse business and so while they were just living here minding their own business a few years later Laura Mark Productions and CBS had that show Dallas and they knew right away when they got down here to Dallas that they were only going to put five episodes on television and present it as a mini series they got down here they also knew that they were going to look for two locations to film at they wanted to find a big beautiful mansion uh, where they could film the interior scenes and they wanted to find a big beautiful ranch where they could film the exterior scenes so they got down here and they had done some research and they had heard about a home here in dallas texas known as the calder home and they went over to look at that house for possible filming. The Calders knew they were coming and they let them tour their home. Once they toured it, they fell in love with it and they asked if they could have permission to film inside their home for those five episodes. Nobody knew if it was gonna go any further than those five episodes. And of course the Calders said yes. Well, now they had to go find a ranch to film on, and they didn't know about this house, and they ended up finding a ranch in Frisco. That ranch was known as the Box Ranch back then. If you're local, it is that property is now the Greenman property. If you live local and you've heard of that, that's where the Box Ranch home used to be. But anyway, they ended up finding that place, and the Box family allowed them to film the exteriors. After those five episodes appeared on television, it was very, very successful. So CBS said, well, okay, let's go do season two. And they went back to the Calder family and they asked the Calders if they could have permission to film inside their home again until they got a soundstage built in California. And the Calders said yes. They also asked the Calders if they could have permission 
to duplicate the inside of their home on that sound stage because that's what the viewers were already seeing as the Ewing interiors. And they said yes. So with that being said, they were happy. Now they went over to the Box family and asked if they could film out there again. They said absolutely not. They would not <laughs> let them come back and film anymore. So they had to go find another ranch. So lo and behold, this is the one they finally found. They got them to come in. They negotiated for a while with the Duncans. They wanted to make sure everything was good with both parties. And finally, the Duncans said yes, that they would let them film out here on their property, but they had two stipulations. The Duncans pretty much told CBS and Lorimar that if they wanted to film here, that they could only come and film in the summer. June, July, and August. Really? And that is because the Duncans didn't want filming out here during the school year. Even though they were teenagers, they still cared about their studies and they just didn't want any distractions. Laura Mar understood that and they agreed to those terms. So the cast actually came out here every year, June, July, and August. So this is the original yep. patio table they all sat in our breakfast, our breakfast table, isn't it? It is. Then over here, Max, you have the Olympic sized pool. Let's <laughs> watch this step when you come down here. Yep. We're going to go up there afterwards. That's to the uh, balcony in the bedroom. But this is the original, which you said that they made all bigger with mirrors and everything. You can take a picture of you sat down here, Max, if you like. About the size of our pool, isn't it, Max? A bit bigger than our pool. Don't know. Just see how big it is. But it's not much bigger. Yeah. It's only because it goes out. Yeah. Go back inside then. Skimmer needs doing. <laughs> Get you what? Skimmer needs doing. <laughs> Professional. Skimmer person. I, I'd live here and I'd uh, work here and be the pool person. Would you? You'd be the pool guy. <laughs> and look at the different rooms there. Eh? You can see it further down there. Dining room. Very grand. The living room. If you don't think, could have remodeled it like this. Could see myself in a bed like that. This is what you call a balcony. Oh, there's the donkey. Check this bathroom out. See if we model it like remodel it like ours. Oh yeah, we should have ours like this, Mike. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> you missed the chance here. Look. Yeah. Hey, yeah, okay, sure. all the glass mirrors. Yeah. I think around the corner or... Oh, you're not going to believe this, Max. Stay there. You are not going to believe this. I'm not going to believe this. Just have a look in that shower. No, not going <laughs> They've got my tie on. <laughs> That's a bit spooky, isn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah? That's my tile. <laughs> I didn't see that mosaic tile. Yeah. To match it. Who else would have had that? There's JR. There's Sue Allen. Sue Allen. He says about the champagne by the bed or something. Some like, yeah, he said. Oh, there it is. Oh, gosh, no. This is the corridor that they used in the movie, where they painted it and de-stressed it all. This is uh, the Poison Dwarfs thing, according to Terry Wogan, wasn't it? Yeah. And this is the man from Atlantis room, Bobby's room. If you don't know who the man from Atlantis was, you haven't, uh, you're not as old as me. Then down here, 
Do we have whose room is this, Max? Whose room did they say this was? Uh, well, that's where he was shot. Where he was shot. This is the room in the hotel, isn't it? Yeah. This is the room in the hotel where Just he was shot. I mean, you shot. No, I can see your reflection. Yeah. When they pretended this was a hotel in Mexico, yeah. this was the room where he, he staged his own murder. And this was the corridors and the doors, room 22, if you go back and watch the reboot, and where they painted uh, these corridors. It looked like a Mexican hotel. And here's the kitchen. Do you remember the kitchen, no? Not really. No? I'd have to watch them again. Yeah. Obviously, you remember the pool and yeah. things like that, but... So what do you think of it then, Max? It is amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Lived up to expectations. Yeah. A lot of people said they were disappointed because the uh, insides weren't the ones on the TV series, you know, but... Uh, well, it's very rare that you get the same outside and inside filming at the same time. Yes, that's true. It's usually on a sound, sound stage. stage and yeah. stuff. I thought it was 5,900 square feet. Oh, maybe there. I thought you said 1,500. No. 59 is not so bad then. Yeah. <laughs> it's been worth the trip then, Max? Oh, yes. yes. Worth your 50 bucks. We're going to go now. We're we'll going to look at There's a couple of houses to look at down here, aren't they? There are. We can go and look at a few different things down here. You can see uh, the original car that uh, Jock Hewing drove as well, can't you? Yep. And the uh, stage, stage house. You might have to get a shot from here, Max, if you come out here on the grass. Yeah. Before the tractor arrives in two minutes. Now I know that South Park has got my tiles. Yes. <laughs> I bet you're happy. I'm very, ha very happy. Must have some good styles. taste. Good taste. Look at oh, the tiny horses here. Little miniature horses. These baby little horses. They're not babies, babe. What are they? Miniature. They're not babies. Oh, okay. Don't feed fingers to horses, it says there, Max. Oh, so here comes a tractor with the next load of people. So here is the gravestone of, and the graves of Jock, Miss Alley, and JR. Have you seen what it says on JR's uh, headstone? The only deal he ever lost. Yeah, cool. Maybe not as many on that one as ours. Donkeys. Yeah, I should be in there, Max. Stood barn. Yeah, I should be. <laughs> it's my barn, is that, isn't it? <laughs> no? I'm saying nothing. Alpaca or a llama? Alpaca yeah. Llama, llama, llama. Llama, llama, llama. It's an alpaca. So it's now um, 1.30. So I reckon for this tour, if you're going to come on this tour, um, you should probably allow, um, we well, probably be another half hour. So it should allow two hours for the tour. Yeah, oh, at least. At think. least two hours for the tour and get here a bit early to do the museum before the tour. Yeah. So you really need two and a half hours, honestly, for this, uh, this place. There's more horses, big horses. And down here is the film set that they used in the, um, in the reboot, yeah? Yeah, Elena's. I think it's Elena. Oh, here's our barn, Max. The party barn. The party barn. Yeah. They do riding lessons here as well. This is our barn. Trail rides, oh, I'd like to do trail rides. You can do them. I know I'd never get up on a horse though. <laughs> no, with your knee. With my knee. <laughs> so apparently what we can see here is this was set, where they're gonna show you the reality of what a, 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 a film set looks like. Yeah. Of how they set it up to what you see on TV at the end of the day. Let's go and have a look and see, uh, see how this looks. I'll follow you in in a minute. There's no ceiling in here. Uh. Do you remember this from the reboot, Max? Can't show that. Do you remember this from the reboot? Um, I can't really remember. I'd have to go back and, and uh, watch them again. I'm sure you will be watching them again. 
It's a lot of farmland here, isn't it? It's a proper farm with horses and... A ranch, but... Ranch, proper ranch. Is that the term I should use? Get the terms a ranch. right. A ranch. It's a ranch. And you can say, hi, these are... Uh, you can go on horse riding. And if, and if it's raining, I can, I can come down here, Max. <laughs> Sounds like a good place, doesn't it? Teasing pen and stud shelter, eh? There you go. So we're going to head over there and just see the car. And this is a... Uh, is that the map of it? This is the map of the ranch. Oh, yeah, there's the Ray's house. Ray's house. The mansion. The mansion. Ewing office oil. Oh, yeah, Party there. barn. And that's where we came in, the Museum and Visitor Centre, and that's where they have the uh, conference centre when they do things. And they said they are building like a rodeo park, aren't they? Yeah. Full-size rodeo. Full-size rodeo, and they're going to do them twice a month starting next month. Horses. Yep. Smells of horses. I can't smell it. That barn smells of horses. I Apparently do. that's the Mayor Motel, Max. What? The Mayor Motel. It's beautiful. I'm going to come say hello to you. Beautiful. Don't feed your fingers to it. Hello. Nobody come and see you. You're left all alone over here. Oh. Oh. The tickles. This is beautiful. Yeah. Aren't ya? Bye. Seen the, you've seen the South Fork door handles. Oh, let me have a look. Shut it. <laughs> oh, got a splinter now. You found a cow. Found a cow. The Longhorns. Just took a selfie with the jail. Did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is Lincoln Continental that he drove. Oh, wow, this is a retirement car for his Max. Yeah, I don't think we can afford one of these, though. How many bodies can you get in the boot? <laughs> Quite a few, I would think. It's very luxurious, isn't mm. it? Well, it's a very expensive car then, and probably still is now. All Lincolns are expensive. Next door is just like a banquet hall area. If you're oh, looking, okay. it's just like an open room for where they must do events. Loving the door handles on this door as well though. Yeah. The horseshoe. Horseshoes. No, you can't go in that way to go through the other door. I think I went in. Did it? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Just a bigger convention space. She's getting married here though. Yeah. Oh my god. Dance floor in the middle. Yeah. You have to could I renew your wedding vows here, Max. Huge. Well, there you go. What do you think? That was amazing. Yeah? Waited 44 years for that. Yeah? Was it worth it? It was worth You're it. You're very happy, aren't you? I'm very, very Especially happy. Especially when you saw the bathroom tile. Yeah. yeah. So we enjoyed the tour. I highly recommend if you come in here and you're a Dallas fan, as Maxine is, mm -hmm. that you do the tour because it's a good value for money, isn't it? It is. Good value for money. Huge bland. Um, don't be disappointed if the um, inside of the house is different because that's not a film set. No. But the outside, well, you just made up, aren't you? Yeah. That's another check on your life goals. Bucket list. Bucket list item done. Checked up. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little tour. We're going to continue. Stay tuned because in uh, future vlogs, we're going to be heading down to um, San Antonio mm -hmm. to do a little bit more filming out here. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. Put your comments below and we will see you later. Bye. Bye.